So here it is, the new Channel TT. It's a 225, it's got 60,000 miles on it, and it's got three quarters of a Votex kit on it. Now, I wasn't particularly looking to buy the car just yet, but when I got a phone call telling me about this particular car, I thought, you know what, that makes sense. Now, it's got a fresh MOT on it, but quite a few advisories. And obviously, as you can see from the bodywork, there's a few little issues that need sorting. Um, and most of the stuff that this needs doing is gonna be useful stuff to film, to make content for. So that's the reason that I've chose this car. Should we have a quick look around? So as you can see, it's got a little bit of a war wound there. It's got a, another little war wound there. The alloys need refurbing. And then we've got a bit more of a war wound there. But with the Votex kit on, it looks really nice. So we've got a common issue on these TTs, which is the sills going rusty. And it's not actually as bad on this side, but it's still gonna need addressing. We've got a bit of rust on the brake lines. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna get it up on the ramp to show you that because that's now impossible. Um, but yeah, overall, bodywork wise, it's not looking bad. Um, I mean, if we look in all the usual places for issues, we've not got any issues with the roof rail. Yeah, I mean, it shines up nicely. It's not too swirly, so I'm hoping that uh, I don't have any paint skills, but I'm hoping that I can learn some paint skills to just address these couple of little areas, because, I mean, it looks like these were never original because if you compare the paint from here this looks nice and glossy and shiny here you can see the orange peel so the front and rear uh, and the spoiler as well actually I mean yeah we've got a, a chip there but again you can tell the difference if we look closely you can see that the paints nice and shiny and then just a little bit dull and a little bit, a um, little bit orange peely. So, yeah, the all the parts of the Votex kit are going to need painting, uh, and then we're going to need a wing. But bodywork-wise, then that's it. And I've wanted to have a go at painting for a while. So, what's the worst that can happen, eh? And a famous last words. Um, now, he has told me, like I say, a few of the issues. Um, one of them being. We're running out of electricity really quickly. I'm gonna jump inside the car and hope that in my short trip into Newport Pagnell Services that I didn't lose all of my electricity. Fingers crossed it'll start. Okay, we're good. We've got power. So, inside we've got the half leather seats. These need a little bit of work, but they're not too bad at all. The rears are actually really clean and tidy, as you'd expect. Uh, we need to sort the flap on the rear there. That was a bit of a noise as this closed, wasn't it? What was that noise? Okay. Well, that's definitely a little bit loose. Another thing to sort. Not a problem. Um, earlier, and you can kind of see behind here, that behind the glass, it's, um, like if I rub there, it's not really making a difference. There's, there's definitely something on the inside of the clocks. So the display itself is fine, but I'm gonna need to take the clocks out to clean the glass, put it back together. Um, we need to take the TT flap off here, because that's damaged. And we get a nice one of those on there. We've got an issue with the radio. Now, uh, yeah, that's all I'm getting across all the channels. It's just white noise. So, we're gonna need to take the rear trim off and have a look at the aerial connection. It might just be the connection behind the stereo, but I have a feeling more likely to be back there. But overall, this car doesn't have 
major problem. So I know I wanted to wait until the end of the year and see how much money we had and buy what we could buy with that, but this car just came up at the right time, it needs the right work doing to make it the right choice to be the channel car. Certainly for now anyway, who knows? Maybe once we've uh, done a bit of work to it, we can sell it and make some money. But anyway, the plan with this is get it ready for Vorsprung International. Now, if you're not aware of that show, it is basically taken over from Audis in the Park. Audis in the Park was the biggest Audi only show, I think in the world, but certainly in Europe. It's an amazing event, um, or it was an amazing event, and it's being replaced by Vorsprung International. So more information on that on a separate video. But the idea is I want this car ready for then so that all you guys can come and have a look at it. Um, now, in my last video, I did talk about, you know, I'm winding down what I'm doing for people on the road and things like that, changing the job so that I can now have time to do things like this, time to enjoy cars for myself, time to go to shows. So there is going to be some more news about what that means. But uh, for now, I can tease you with there is definitely going to be more breakfast meets, not necessarily organised by me, maybe Dom, maybe Andy, maybe Chris. Um, I'm not really an organiser type person, I just like turning up and seeing what's going on. But I can tell you that something else has been organised and that is going to be a trip to the Nürburgring. So we hope to see some of you there. Like I say, Vorsprung International is going to be a massive show and then I'm going to try and hopefully get to a couple of other Audi shows across the summer as well. But that's why I've got my weekend, so that I can do little jobs like this and get to shows like that and get to events and get to meets and get to yeah, see all of your cars firsthand uh, without having to get my hands dirty working on them. So yeah, um, so I hope you like the new channel car. I certainly do. I'm really looking forward to you know, plowing into it. Um, we've got lots of stuff to look at on the underside. I mean, here's the list from the MOT. Nothing too scary but I'm looking forward to getting it so that next MOT is just a clean sheet. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of content coming up about this car, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can uh, be notified every time I release a new video about your channel car. Until next time, I'll see you later. Cheers guys!